वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश सेवनटीन स्टेटमेंट इज इफ डब्ल्यू थ्री सिक्सटी बाई फोर्टी फाइव बीम इज मेड फ्राम स्टील हैविंग एन एलाउबल नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इज वन फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल एन एलाउबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ एटी फाइव मेगा पासकल डिटरमाइन द मैक्मम केबल फोर्स पी दैट कैन सेफली सपोर्ट द बीम सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम दिस इज अम्पली सपोर्टेड बीम एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड this load p that can be applied on this beam which is w360 by 45 beam so let's start with the solution so first step is that uh, you, you have this simply supported beam so you can see there is a support so if you remove this support so definitely there will be a reaction force let this is r a and there is a support at this end so if you remove this so you will have reaction force at this point b which is rb so we will first find this ra and rb by using equilibrium condition so first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a the first moment is due to ra into perpendicular distance is this 4 and this is producing counter clockwise moment it will be positive the second moment is due to this force p and perpendicular distance is 2 meter and it will produce counter uh, clockwise so it will be negative so we will write rb into 4 minus p into 2 is equal to 0 so from here you will get 4 rb is equal to 2p and rb is equal to p by now you have this rb you can find ra by using equilibrium condition that sum of all force along y direction must be equal to 0 and taking the upward force as positive so three forces one is this second one is this and third one is this that is acting so ra minus p plus p by 2 will be equal to 0 so r a will be equal to r a minus it will give you p minus p plus p by 2 will give you minus p by 2 so from here you will get r a will also equal to p by 2 now you have r a and r b you can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so for that i will draw vertical lines from the end of this beam so here you will have horizontal line which shows the length of the beam in meters this is the shear force at you can see that at point a you will have r a which is equal to p by 2 let p by 2 one division two division is equal to p so this will be equal to p by 2 so at this point we will have shear force and it will remain same till this mid because there is no other force now here we have p so p by 2 minus p will bring it to minus p by 2 so it will change from this to this this is minus p by 2 again moving from here till end there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal so this is your shear force diagram what about bending moment diagram so again we will draw bending moment over here you can see this area which is equal which is rectangular so its area will be equal to p by 2 multiply by this length which is 2 meter so it will equal to p so let this division one division is p by 2 so it will be p so you will get this point which is p and since this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be 1 degree higher and it will be straight line clear so we will, i will join these two points so it will be a straight line clear now you can see this area which is negative and this is also equal to minus p clear so p minus p will be equal to 0 at this point and we will get the bending moment like this i will join these two points so this is your bending moment diagram now we have been given given that we have 
W360 by 45 wide flange beam. So we will need its SX section modulus, its, its thickness of web and height or depth. So we will write them from the appendix B of this book. So what we will do is that uh, again you have to go to the book this is the book so w360 by w360 by 45 so w360 by 45 is this one so its height is 352 thickness of web is 660 6.85 and this is 688 into 6 88 into 10 to the power 3 cubic millimeter so note down these values three values we will write them over here so sx was uh, 688 into 10 to the power 3 cubic millimeter thickness of web was 6.86 millimeter and height was 352 millimeter we will use them now we know that uh, section modulus sx is equal to maximum bending movement divided by allowable bending stress so from here you will get maximum bending movement will be equal to sx into allowable stress so sx is 668 into uh, 10 to the power 3 cubic millimeter you will convert it into meter and allowable stress is 150 megapascal so we will write 150 as well 150 megapascal so 150 into 10 to the power 6 pascal and when you convert this into into meter so it will be 0. Point uh, double zero point six six eight into ten to the power minus three cubic meter into one fifty into ten to the power six pascal. So you will get the maximum bending moments comes out to be this value clear and from our shear force and bending moment diagram you can see that maximum bending moment is equal to p so hence this p will be equal to this value and when you solve this you will get one zero three two zero zero newton or you can see this load p is equal to one zero three kilo newton so it means that a load of one zero three kilo newton can be applied on this cable that will simply support the load now we will verify it also we will check it by using the shear stress criteria so we know that sharing stress maximum sharing stress is equal to v max divided by thickness of web into d so v max from shear force diagram it is p by 2 and p by 2 is actually 103 divided by 2 103 into 103 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by thickness of web is 6.86 millimeter this is millimeter so 6.86 into 10 to the power minus 3 will convert it into meter and d is 352 millimeter so 352 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you solve this you will get tau max is equal to 21.37 mega pascal which you can see that this is less than tau allowable because tau allowable is 85 mega pascal 85 mega Pascal. So it means that the calculated load P is equal to 103 kilonewton 
is okay and that can be applied on the cable for carrying this uh, load or that will satisfy the condition given in the question i hope you people are learning from my videos and also uh, you are enjoying it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it now and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching and supporting